Dear professors, my name is Jia Ronglu and I'm from China, Shanghai. I'm a senior student from Fudan University and my major is Broadcasting and TV. I'm very interested in film industry and now I work as intern in Tom Media Partners and do works such as reading scripts, editing films and so on. It's a pleasure to have the chance to show you something of myself. Susie and Peter are waiting the start of their father's funeral. Susie is the daughter of father's second wife and Peter is 15 years older than Susie. Peter holds a hostile attitude towards Susie. However, Susie just wants to get along with her brother. She offers to treat guests but only to be satirized by Peter, saying that she doesn't have the right to do so. Peter is so furious that he blames Susie on his not having enough time to accompany with his father during the past decade. Actually, it was Peter that unwilling to leave them together and father had repeatedly asked his son to do so. Susie just stands aside and says nothing. Meanwhile, Peter gets a phone call from the lawyer. He is astonished to know that father left all his legacy to Susie. The only condition that Peter can get her legacy is to serve as Susie's guardian until she is 18. Driven by interests, Peter apologized to Susie and they began to talk about father. Susie mentions that father was always optimistic about his life and often recalled the beauty of family life. Susie's mom died four years ago, so she is intended to live with relatives. Peter suggests they are living together and retrieve the long-lost family atmosphere. Susie so surprised, agrees. I want to express the complexity of interpersonal relationships. Intimacy is something that everyone needs. However, the complexities may lead to some unknown results or contradictions. Just like the story, the brother's change toward his sister is not because of guilty but inner benefits. Where should the relationship between people develop? That's what we have to think about. Thank you.